Coming up, the rover is stripped down to its frame and a rebuild begins as we give it a cargo overhaul. Welcome back to Space Engineers. Oh yeah, I don't have the um, echo or anything again, do I? No. No, no. good. All right, that's off. Um, Okie dokie. Three, two, one. Well, we're back, and uh, as we've been saying for a few episodes, we want to turn this into a rover that's actually capable of doing more than 50,000 or whatever it can carry. So, Jake, would you please, nice and carefully, bring this rover forward? Look how splendid it looks with all its lights. Uh, the, the the name's Jake, and the terms uh, nice and slowly uh, does not exist together. Move, move out the way, Ixia, move very far away. Look, the red lights come on for you as well. Barricaded myself downstairs, half on you too. Y your obsession with blink, I mean, look, look at this. This is just no. It's it's too close to strobe lighting. What is what is going on here? Yes. Why do you have it? Well, press L. At least you have some spotlights. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Why do I anyway. have it? It's just a. Uh, it's it's something you see on some construction. It's if, not a construction vehicle, though, is it? Well, it's a it's a vehicle that causes a hazard, especially with you in the driver's seat. Hey, hey, that's uh, been one of my only times in the driver's seat, and nothing has gone wrong with me driving this vehicle. I don't know. That was the lovely death counter we had last time you were driving, wasn't it? Well, lovely death counter, yes. Um, I, I have a 100% uh, success rate with using vehicles. That's canon, by the way. Critical. Okay, I'm clearly losing my mind already. What have you done? Well, Welcome instead to the club. Of, instead of typing in steel plates, I typed in cannon. <laughs> right, um, I'm gonna jack this up. Uh, how many jackpots do we want? This is going to be an episode of Pip My Ride, except we're not going to be doing Pip My Ride, and so we're going to be tearing it all apart and building it properly. This is going to be an episode of um, how to do things, how to improve things in a professional manner. Building a rover with uh, capacity in mind instead of uh, economy. Because well, you built this ages ago, didn't you? Yes, this was this was not meant to be what, what it turned into. Um, it had, originally it was not supposed to do any of this. Uh, at all. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place two of those and I'm going to stick a piston there. I want to put four pistons on this. What are you doing? Pistons to jack it up. Right, we don't that necessarily way. need to. Well, no, that way we can even rearrange where the wheels go and how high the wheels are and everything. True. So if we do that, it at least just saves us that. So that's what that's why I'm doing it. Is that the right way? That's the right way. That's one, two. I'll put two at the back, and that should be absolutely fine for us. There we go. Right. Oh, yeah. Look at that, we're actually working with some sort of efficiency right now. Uh, it's because we're destroying things. Ah, uh, that's true. No, that would, then, then we'll be uh, making some fun things. <laughs> right, okay. Um... Should we take? The, I was gonna say, let's take the 
all detects and spotlights and everything should probably come off as well, yeah. I uh, take everything but the top. Yeah. Right, in the meantime, I guess, um... Xeo's probably building up the pistons, yeah. Ow! What on Are you earth? Trying to kill me? No! What on earth? How? You How hit me with a grinder. You were two blocks away. You were aiming at me. I was aiming at the spotlight. No, 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 I can tell. You were aiming at me. He's jealous <sighs> of your uh, account. I'd like to file a report against my superior. Sorry, um, currently, due to due to administration problems, uh, reports are unavailable. I see. If you'd like uh, to file a report about reports being unavailable, you can't. Uh, Jacob, would you like to sign with the union? Uh, will there be union meeting uh, later on today? Improve working conditions. Critical. Uh, I'll, I'll create a deep space antenna so I can contact my actual supervisor. Ah, yes. Vetrix. Yes. Hayes. Or is it Fisherman Colonel? Fisherman Colonel, my god. I did right. not see him he actually does, playing that he, video. He does every kind of simulator. I did not see him playing that, um, though. That came out completely out of left field. Jake? Yes. So you know you took the reactor down. I did. We can't uh, actually get the pistons moving. Oh no, such a shame. Let's get a, oh, a very small, tiny reactor. Small reactor. Yeah, as tiny as we can get, just enough to move the pistons. Uh, just put it on the back of the cockpit. I th it, speaking of different videos that have come out, um, there are things that I look at and I say, I should play this. And then I go, no way, this is just not something I can play on the channel. Um, right. Because, well, I'm sure you've noticed with the Spider-Man videos. Um, if you browse across my channel at any point, Spider-Man videos have no traction. It, you're, you're, you're trying to get the wrong crowd. Exactly. Now, um, Space Engineers is very slowly gaining traction. Uh, yeah, that's because you're building up an audience and you've done it for longer than the Spider-Man stuff. Yes. And then again, there's a lot more people wanting to watch videos on, spy on the Space Engineers than Spider-Man. Yes. Because they're waiting for the inevitable boom. Yes, it's, it's the booms that always get uh, get it right. We've got some uranium in there? Uh, working on it. Okay. We've got a hun we've got a uh, hundred and thirty uranium in storage. Yes, we have lots of uranium. It's ridiculous, and we're still going through ores as well. Unless yes, we are. Turns over there you go. Uh, you may engage those. That is not stable. Here's what I'm going to say: maybe uh, you should put landing gears on them. Oh, you think because it'll... It will slide. Are you sure? Yes. I've done this before. It will slide. Hold on, I'm going to just push Can't it. Can't we just lift... Oh, yeah. You, Can't you do, we... You do not no. want this to slide. Can't we put landing gears on? Because we're keeping the bed, aren't we? Uh, yeah, we're keeping the bed, which means we can put landing gears on them. Well, what if... Okay, hold on, hold on. What if we first rearrange the location of the wheels... And then just put it back down on the wheels. Okay. That um, way. But before you do that, I'm going to give my recommendation of the layout of the different things on the thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good descriptive there, Jake. Congratulations. I think my viewers got it. I mean, you all understand the thing on the thing, right? Yeah, everyone. Yeah, it's, it's just a thing on the thing. I mean, it's a thing with the thing, and then and, and, and the thing goes with the thing. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you've made your point. Yeah. Is there something in the water over there that I should know about? Well, in Britain, yes, there yes. definitely is. It's called not. I actually kind of clear up hard water in my head, but it's probably not. Uh, so if we do uh, that, right to that. I do wonder what the water's like in America. Mm -hmm. Oh, I still play. 
Uh, well, I, I was in America at some point during my life, and uh, I didn't really have anything to say about the water. So, uh, do you want to delete the large one and use the azimuth large one, or...? Oh, that's a good point. Uh, well, here's the thing. We want to be able to have a collector on this. I feel like this might oh, need to be a bit bigger, too. Yeah, the azimuth. The azimuth, that's tiny. My god, that is small. Is that the azimuth medium? Or... No, that's azimuth large. Eh? How much does it carry, do, do you know? Not much. Oh. Uh, that will carry um, effectively the same amount uh, as two medium cargo containers. Because it's six by it's six by three by three instead of three by three by three. Yes, but I don't know what they. I don't know how they've scaled it. Does it have a really weird phase compression in it? Uh, Perhaps it sucks all yeah. the oxygen out of everything and just crushes it. I don't know what you're talking about there. Um, no, it doesn't work on elements anyway. I'm talking about you know you there was that weird. I don't know whether this still happens, but there was that w this weird phase where everyone was thinking about saving space in a cupboard. And oh, right, the vacuum pack. Yes, and they just say, "Put your clothes in that vacuum pack," and it turns it to like one twentieth the size. You could put two of those, right? Uh, yeah, I'm putting uh, a second one at the back. Yeah. Right, and then in the middle we have a collector. Yep, sounds good like this and or if we can or maybe lower and then underneath we can have the conveyors i mean the drop the no, ejectors no, no. we can have the we can have the uh, we can install an azimuth fusion reactor underneath the collector wait uh then, what about the ejector we can add a ejector. i was i was thinking if we put the ejector at the bottom under this and in that case, we put the fusion reactor. All right. Oh, um, there you, there you go. There are some nice smooth wheels for you. Gadget. I, I haven't. Ooh. No, that doesn't. Uh, now I don't think I don't think Jake's going to be impressed with those. They look like stabilizers. Are you adding? Uh, Train wheels. wheels Are you adding training wheels to this uh, yes. vehicle? Oh god, no. No. That's horrible. It is, isn't it? Those are plain wheels. Yeah, so the, the objective and... The we'll just keep this for gadgets and enjoyment. Have one wheel that, and then the rest of the wheels the proper one. No, it's like a bumper in the front. It's okay, Vectrix isn't here yet, so we don't need stabilizers. That's all for sure. Can we make this into a bumper car when he gets back, though? Oh, that would be so cool. What do you think, Jake, turning these all into bumper cars? That ends the clang. Yes. Well, yeah, that's what bumper cars generally do. It will end the space engineer's clang. Ah. So, I'm um, gadgets. This is for you. Computers. Merry, happy holidays. Ha happy, oh dear. What have we got? Why would you do that? What? Why? I've got the computers. I've got the computers. Small steel tubes, I think, and motors. Uh, motors, computers, and interior plates. Energy low. Ooh, energy low. I'd best go, uh... I'd best go sit down. I love how this thing is... You know, this is a very horrible view that I've got right now. A very horrible view. Is that all of them done? 
Yes. Yep. Lovely. Okay. Um, so then we can throw. If I've got them, no, I don't. Uh, what are we looking at on this? Interior, interior plates, plate. motors, interior plates. Let's get some interior plates then. I got those. Oh, you got the interior plates? Alright, I've got the motors then. Yep. No, we can't just simply with the bird chash It's all done. Mm. Here we go. Oh, I... Uh, <laughs> oh, why? What? Have you done? No, you've put it upside down. I put it the correct way round. No, no, no. The first one you've got right. Okay, look at the no. second one. No, no, no. As we all know, they need to be the uh, not the correct way round. Um, small, large ports does not equal entry into small ports. Yeah, no. Uh, which is why if I managed to get this correct. Uh, which is why we have small blocks inside. Right. right. Yes, but you're gonna have to rotate the other one. No no no, this should be okay, right? Yeah. No. <laughs> I'll do it properly this time. Wait, <laughs> you actually know exactly what you're doing with this? Yes, I know exactly what I'm doing with this. I have done this far too many times. To do it by accident. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the team that will get us in orbit. Well, if he wants to go into orbit, uh, you yeah, do have a jetpack. J J Jake, yes. Jake, look at yeah. the way the sense the the uh, status bars are on it. Yeah? What's wrong with the side one? They just stop. They don't. They just. <laughs> look. This is your fault, not mine. You wanted status bars. I swear that just needs to be rotated. Ah. Uh. So, this is the, the thing. When I attempt to place it down, I can't see the status bars. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Gadget, the um, thing is that, um... Hang on, hang on. It's going to be sideways, turned up. With that at the front. It's one at the front. <laughs> So it's a it's a T junction, right? Yeah, that's what I'm looking. That's the. Are oh, you doing the same thing I'm doing? Trying to work out where the large ones are com in comparison yeah, to each other. There. See, <laughs> there we go. All, All right, you know that. what? At least it matches. <sighs> yeah, at least it matches. That will do. As long well, as they look, match, it's fine. Yeah, but then you look at the top. Oh no. Oh, why? Oh, yes. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a simple one. Okay, in the meantime, uh, Exia. Comments are going to be wobbly on this one. Sorry? The comments are going to be a wonderful uh, opportunity for me when this comes out. There we go. Yeah. See, see, look, it's all fine now. Yeah, I can. All right, I can live with that. Good. Well, uh, um, I wasn't going to give you a choice. I bet uh, you a badger helmet. You won't. Uh, I'm really struggling here. What are you struggling with exactly? The status <laughs> bars. Look, look. It's your stupid mod. So it's I think your problem, not mine. Off camera, I'm probably going to end up ripping this apart and fixing it. I mean, you can try fixing it. It's not going to look pretty. And it's not going to work as efficiently as it needs to be. Okay, here's a new, another question. Why is this not in the centre? What do you mean it's not in the centre? Oh, I did that on purpose. There, status problem fixed. I feel like Jake is trying to spite me for so, something I never did to him. Uh, that's true. Not yet, at least. Not yet. Yes. I mean, that would work. Here. Right, what does it need? Uh, two displays, eight computers. Right, I think we should still make it six wheels. Um. 
but potentially see I feel like this should have been slightly longer in all honesty what do you think because where are we going to put the reactors unless we can just slot the reactors in on the side which might be possible alright next up we need to put well, are we putting conveyors at the bottom? Conveyor junctions. That's probably the easiest to put down there, isn't there? Uh, yeah, the conveyor junctions are relatively easy. You just need to do them layer at a time. Yeah. Um, the reactors, if you can see where I put them. Let's have a look. And then Ooh. we have a. Uh, oh. And then you have a jump start reactor at the front. Oh, I this this can plan. only go bad. This is... oh dear. Th this can only go bad. How only? Uh, what are you talking about? I don't think we have this much um, components for this. You sure? We should. Well, it doesn't really need the reactors at this point. Um, we'll go slowly. Yeah, it requires superconductors. Yeah, what, what have you... Mm. It requires superconductor converters. Where which, are the conveyor uh, junctions? Conveyor junctions at the top. Conveyor junction. Here we well, go. Are you, are you looking for the correct size of conveyor junction? Yeah. Yeah, it's because they're small conveyors, not large ones. Ah, that's probably what it is. Uh, conveyor junction. This one looks good. What does this one look like? Uh, no, that doesn't look right at all. Why can I not find... Small conveyor tube. Here we go. Got it. And we're going to have to go. What's this, Exia? Um. Reactor. Hyperion three. Unfortunately, requires ten superconductors. Can I ask something? Um, can I choose not to answer? Yeah, uh, two questions. One, why is Jake upside down? Uh, um, so that I can get into position to weld these up. Because um, he's trying to find those stairs for us. Was there something wrong with crouching? I'm just curious. Uh, yes, crouching is rubbish. Okay, and two, can anyone else hear something moving? Something moving? Well, yeah. mayhaps it could be the pistons. No, no, no. It sounds like wheels moving. As if when your drone is moving around, that's what it sounds like. Right. Okay. And it started, it started when that Hyperion reactor was placed. Then I will blame Exia. And completely absolve myself of blame. I'm trying to I, work out where this noise is from. I turned down the speaking volume to turn up the game volume. I heard um, crickets and people running around. No, I can definitely hear another noise. I heard actually just uh, like a wallop or something. Where is it coming from? Do you mind? Give me a second. It's not the rotor. What is that noise? I heard a woodpecker. And with that, do you mind, though? I think it's time to end this episode. So, will this be completed in the next one? I certainly hope so. Will I be able but to no. get over this? I do not know. We shall see you guys next time. Both of them are not likely. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Space Engineers. Don't forget to hit the like button if you liked the video and subscribe to catch more episodes.
If you have not yet done so, please follow me on Twitch at www.twitch.tv slash ecgadget and please consider also supporting me on Patreon, www.patreon.com slash ecgadget. Lastly, please do follow or subscribe to all the other players in this series. Channel links to the channels for Vectrix, Snaggles, Carter and Jacobine will be in the description box below as will the links to my Patreon and Twitch. Once again, thank you, and we shall see you soon in Space Engineers.